Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to walk you through using the maternity actions in Photoshop. You can use these actions on all maternity images. After download, you will need to unzip the folder and install the actions into Photoshop. You can do this simply by double clicking the action file. You can find more information on how to install and use the Photoshop actions over on the LSP website. After installing, the actions will show up in your actions palette like this. You will probably be on grey editing mode. If you can't see your actions palette or this little play button floating around anywhere, you can come up here to window and hit actions or just hit alt and f9 to get your actions palette to show. Um, I like to grab the LSP actions folder here, this one here where it's um, got the little folder full of actions and drag it right to the top of my actions palette. This view is currently in grey editing mode where you can um, click on any of the actions and then come down and press the play button to run one of the actions here. But I much prefer to work in button mode and you might prefer this too. So you can come up to these little lines here and hit button mode and the actions will now display like this. In button mode I have designed the actions into colour coordinated workflow order so you can simply click and play. So if your actions look like this, kind of all in rows, um, a little bit messy, then simply grab the side here and drag it into a nice neat column. Similarly, if they are stacked up here, for some reason maybe above your navigator, and they look a little bit like this, you can grab the tab here where it says actions, pull it out and you can put these anywhere. You may prefer to have them over the left or the right, I like to grab the tab and drag it into the side here till a blue line appears and let it go and I can simply open and close from there like this. Um, to find out more about how to kind of use and install the actions please visit www.lsp-actions.com okay so now I'm going to give you a brief overview of how to use each section of the LSP Maternity Actions to edit your images in Photoshop swiftly um, and without having to overthink every step, which is great. If at any point you can also use your hand editing techniques if you want to, um, you can use other LSP Actions or you know any other way of editing that you want to, you can mix and match with the actions if you want to. You'll notice there's three sections here in the actions, the one click image balance, the airbrushes and the specialist section. These are in workflow order, so I'd recommend starting up here and then coming to this section and finally finishing off here. The first segment here, one click image balance. These options apply to your whole image in one click, so they quickly and evenly balance your image out. I'd really recommend starting here um, if you need to make any changes to the exposure, the toning, the lighting, the balance of your image. You can decide which actions to play of your image. Um, let me just zoom out a little. Oh, sorry, just dropping things. <laughs> let me just zoom out a little here. Okay. So first of all, I think I'm going to um, brighten this image up a little bit. I feel it's a little bit underexposed, so I'm going to play boost exposure. You can play these as many times as you like as well. So for example, I could play it twice if I wanted to. They don't affect your original background image. You can slide the opacity. You can. Um, drag this down to trash if you don't want it anymore you can turn these on or off. This background is originally more of a grey colour so I can see the white balance is a little bit warm I'm going to play neutralise the white balance. Again this will play out and I can um, change the opacity or play it again if I wanted to as well. So I think about that. I'm quite happy with that, um, if I turn these off and see the before and after. So I'm going to go ahead and use this action here, take a snapshot and flatten. That's exactly what it says on the tin. This will take a snapshot of your image to appear in the history up here, and then flatten down. I recommend flattening regularly once you're happy with the editing. The next section is the airbrush section here. Um, this is for the skin, the face, the hair, other areas of a woman's body, um, and they're especially adapted for pregnancy. These actions do not affect your whole image, they're hidden with a black mask. So for example, if I was to play the perfect skin base, you will see a white brush has been selected. I'd recommend your settings being brush mode normal, opacity 100% and flow 25%. This allows you to paint and build up as you go. 
So this is the airbrush skin base, the perfect skin base. I'm just going to zoom in here, grab the brush, and this will help um, even out the skin tone, kind of smooth over any little wrinkles, like this. remove blemishes and keeping it all very gentle. So this is a nice gentle editing base for skin. Um, it will print full res at 100% so it's not an over-the-top kind of portrait action here. There we go. So before and after there, you can see we're just even down and smooth the skin base a little bit there. So I'm going to take a snapshot and flatten. And now I'm going to play the bright warm belly paint here. In pregnancy you may notice, especially later on in pregnancy, the, uh, the belly and the lower legs can take on a rather kind of purpley red tone. This is due to the extra uh, blood supply in pregnancy and also kind of the weight of the babies and stretching of the skin. Lots of different things. So you may want to use bright warm belly paint. You can also use this on legs if they're showing as well. Okay, on and off. And you can see there that has really kind of evened out the skin tone. So I'm going to flatten down again. To treat specific colours in your image, you can play these multi-layer bases here. So we have colour toners, and what the multi-bases do is they set up um, different layers here for you to go and pick and choose from with your white brush. So we have blues, greens, purples, yellows, light and reds. I'm going to play uh, light and reds a little bit here. I have some red there, a little red on the chin, some red on the back of the arm perhaps. Okay, and we can warm up or cool down. I don't need to do that now, so I'm going to take a snapshot and flatten. There's also multi, uh, multi layer makeup bag, multi layer skin foundations, multi layer shading. The shading is um, shadows and highlights and things. I'll show you that one in a minute. Um, this makeup bag is just playing out here. This um, Some of the actions take a little longer than others to play, but even still, they're still a lot faster than hand editing. Okay, so you can see this is selected to sharpen. So I'm going to zoom in on the face and just sharpen up those details there. White teeth, we don't need lip pop, maybe. A little blush. Bright eyes, um, I like to try and mainly use this action opposite the catch light. There we are. And snapshot and flatten down again. Um, I'm going to play the shading, so this will give me actions for um, brightening, darkening, um, reducing highlights, lifting shadows, things like that. So I'm just going to add a little brightness to the face here and the belly. And similarity, I'm going to darken down here just so we start getting some real shading coming into the image now. And perhaps under the belly too. Also have contrast 3D here. Can you hear a plane going over? <laughs> I have my window open. It's very warm here right now. It's summertime when I'm recording this video. Okay, just a little bit more brightness down this side of the face, and then brighten him up a little, and then darken down. So you can see I'm simply clicking on these um, black layer masks. Rescue some highlights there. And so on. Take a snapshot and flatten. Once you're happy with your general um, skin and portrait edit, you can come down here to the specialist section um, where you will find um, a mix of paints and actions here for your image from smoothing the fabric, um, I'm going to run that one, that one, um, to removing stretch marks um, manually to uh, whitening the white, blackening the blacks, you can create black and white which has like, different multi layers over the top. Um, you can finish with overlays such as contrast and vignette. Um, you can you know, resize for Facebook as well using these actions which I will show you in just a moment.
Okay, so I'm going to use the fabric smooth now just to kind of even out some of these creases and make the fabric look really soft and flowy, which I personally love from Maternity Image. And again, you can come up to the opacity, you can paint on or off with white or black, however you wish to go. Let's add a uh, vignette overlay. You can see there it's just slightly darkened those edges in. I'm going to grab a black brush to hide and I'm just going to paint this off those faces and belly because this is where I want the attention to be drawn. Snapshot and flatten. So uh, now I can save this image and I can also save a copy for Facebook if I want to. You can also come up here in your history if you've been using the take a snapshot and flatten action to see um, your edit. So let's start it. This is where we started at the beginning of the video. We applied um, up here on the one click balance, neutral white balance and increase the exposure. And then we used the skin base, the um, perfect skin base. And then the belly colour toner, you see there before and after. And then we use the toners um, to lighten up the reds. And then the shading actions, um, sorry, the makeup actions, where we added some bright eyes and sharpened up a little bit, a little bit of blush. And then here the shading multi light action, so we used some contrast 3D, brightened up um, the face and the belly, darkened here around the back of the body, and reduced the highlights here over the fabric. And then we use the fabric smooth and added a vignette. And then again, we can flatten and save. And you can use the Facebook actions here. So, for example, I could use the Facebook portrait resize. So, I've saved the full red image, and then you can see here that's our full red image. It's opened a separate Facebook image here. Nice and flat, you can simply add your watermark and save for Facebook. Please do watch the other videos for editing pregnancy images in Photoshop using the LSP Actions for more tips, tricks and techniques. Um, and here's to editing gorgeous maternity galleries for your clients in really, really super quick time. I'm Lauren from LSP Actions and thanks for watching.